Welcome to Hack Motion Golf. In this and the upcoming videos, I will guide you to the basics of how to use Hack Motion. We'll touch upon what exactly is to be measured and the meaning behind all the data that we track, like flexion extension or more commonly known as bowing and cupping. We'll touch upon why, after mastering your wrist control, you will improve your golf game, and we'll go into details on how to use and apply Hack Motion for your training session, showing you all of its capabilities and use cases, as well as a few tips and tricks. That you should be aware of. If you already bought Hack Motion, then you should be quite familiar with the packaging. If you're still waiting for your delivery or contemplating getting one, then this is the box that we send you with the sensor inside. Once you open it, you can see that here we have the sensor. It weighs less than 2 ounces or 35 grams, has a 7 hour long battery life, and is rechargeable through a USB C cable that also comes with the packaging. We currently support iOS and Windows devices which connect to the sensor through Bluetooth. The sensor is super easy to put on. Just place it on your lead wrist, just like a wristwatch, then adjust the palm strap to suit your needs. If you wish to use the device with your glove, you will find a clip-on that comes in the box. Using it with a glove is just as easy. Just remove the strap from the palm strap, add the clip and attach it to the velcro of the glove. Now we can turn it on by pressing the button on the side, and you're all set. Now. Let's take our iPad and double check that we have Bluetooth enabled and open up the Hack Motion Golf app that we already have installed. If you don't have the app on your device, you can find it in the App Store by following the link below. Allow the app to use Bluetooth so that it can connect to the sensor. And let's register in the app so that all of our shots are saved to the cloud. You should register in case you decide to use a different device so that all your data is accessible on all your devices. After we have logged in, we can check if we have managed to connect to the sensor by inspecting the Bluetooth icon on the left. If at any point you have any issues with connecting, head on to the help section and there you will find common tips on how to troubleshoot your connection. And that's it. We have successfully launched the app, put on our sensor, and in the next video I'll show you how to calibrate and start your session to get some swing data. Thank you for watching.